Uh, another way to look at examine the differences is as discussed in 3.3, as we can sort them and see if we can find our P50s, P90s, and P10 values. This is only worth doing if it's not a um, normal distribution. So the simplest way to do that, you just select your D5 data, copy. I'm just going to paste it in here. Paste special values this time. Uh, and then we're going to sort. Simple data by sort. Increasing. Okay. And then we're going to have this. Insert a new column. And two. Insert. Now the next thing we need to do is plot it against something. So we're going to plot this against something. We're going to make a count column. So you'll see why in a moment. So count. It's 1, and that equals that plus 1. So we take that all to the bottom. We'll see how many numbers we've got. So there's 42 of them. And if I do a normalized count, normalized frequency, this will allow me to make a cumulative column. So that equals that, and that equals... Um, sorry, that's... I'm going to, that Let's go back to here, equals that divided by the number at the bottom of the page, which was 42. So push the F4, function F4. That says the dollar signs go in. And if I go down here, I now get a normalized column numbers. You'll see why and how this works in a moment. So change decimal places. I'm just going to plot those two against each other. Insert, that's my plot, and now we've got this thing. I change this axis to format axis, and I plot it across at axis value of minus 0 0.2. So click that one right, I change this to format data series to a line with no marker, right, and I can change this one here, format axis from 0 to 1, because we've normalized that much. Then we add some titles. Okay. What we're getting now, if I change this axis here to format axis to uh, automate majors point 1 we want, and you'll see why in a moment. And this is Cumulative uh, differences, and this is okay. Difference um, log derived minus equal velocity. Now, what we can do with this graph is we can read off. Our uncertainty. So if we want to know what the average, the P50, the most likely uncertainty is, we just go to our pseudo straight line and we can see from our P50, we just go straight up and oh, right there is our P50 uncertainty and if we can read that across horizontally, we go across horizontally, we're going to go straight across and we see it's pretty close to zero. Uh, P10, we can go, oh look, up here, and mine just might be P10 and P or P90, depends on your perspective. So we got about, about minus 0.12, and if we do the other way, from a P90 sort of value, you can see it's much higher, lower. So what we can see is the uncertainty here pretty close to 0.05. So what this tells you is the distribution is not symmetrical and we can read off some P10 and P90 uncertainties in that sort of order. Okay, thank you.